Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode in our series of Battletech Advanced 3062 and today we are somewhere slightly different we kind of run out of contracts to do in the other one and to be honest sort of like the one skull and half skull missions we were getting were again a little bit too easy so we've upped it a little bit so I've taken a contract that's a two and a half skull and it involved obviously moving to another world so I've done all the traveling and all of that stuff uh, the good news is as well our bombard is now up the one that we built at the end of last episode so we do have an LRM support mech which will be replacing the Hollander and we've managed to get the extra upgrade of the extra base so that's all good fun as well so we're still running <laughs> still two trusts through uh, Wolverines that we've had pretty much since the get-go and a little melee panther and a centurion and now we have some long range support as well i can't remember if i check the pilot so i'm going to do that real quick um nah, don't really need any of that right now i uh, don't want recall penalty but we will go for that for our scouts uh kraken we are going to give you some more accuracy and uh, Ningo, we want. Hmm. I think Ningo will put us our Training complete. LRM Order. boat pilot. I think. Commander. Receiving you. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So I just have to try and remember that. Uh, right, so go to the command center and launch the contract that we're in, which is this one? No, yes, no. Yes, this one. Raiding party. And press the start button does help. Right, so we are dropping our Hollander and replacing it with a bombard. We're swapping uh, Ningo to the bombard. And the Centurion there and Kraken is going there because he's got the higher accuracy we just want that AC20 to make sure it hits and that's pretty much it so we are we should be two and a half skulls should be within our, our relative ability to take care of don't forget skulls are a lie uh, but the actual payment uh, the payment out was only July was about 900 and something thousand so it's probably about roughly two and a half skulls so it shouldn't be too bad um, yeah, so we just wait for this to load a second, and then we can get on with it. Still waiting on the, um, anymore, there's no updates as of yet on, uh, BTA, so there's no, <clears throat> no new patches as of right now, as I've, I checked literally just before I started recording the video, so we're still, uh, running the, the um, the latest version. <clears throat> And yeah, so not a lot going on right now, so we'll just sit here and twiddle our thumbs while we're waiting for this to load and hope it does load eventually. Yep, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Command interface. <clears throat> right, okay, we are urban. So our frame mates are going to struggle a little bit. And who we got? So Corsa is first. It's moving out. On Cobra. Like I said before, guys, try and move your slower or the slower of your mechs. It's actually pretty good for the Bombard. Fair play. Heading out. Um, up first. Just in case you spot an enemy target and one of your mechs is, you know, kind of stuck back here, like that one. You don't want them uh, stuck to, you know, you don't want one mech that's, you know, all the way over here and all the rest of your mechs are stuck all the way over there. It's just not going to work. So, print our panther up. How far have we got to go? Uh, okay, it's a fair way and they're going to have the height advantage now. <clears throat> so we are over here so we're going to be coming at it from this direction so we kind of want to go up here it's always worth having a look especially on uh, maps like this one because you, there are areas you can get stuck where it looks like you can go up and you can't 
Um, there, I've been caught out multiple times, especially on the urban maps, where you know you get things like this that kind of look like the two pa paths together from certain angles, um, or you know they look like two roads, and it actually transpires that they're not. So just have a quick scout around the map, uh, mate, and try and plan your route out accordingly. So they're going to be there. So like this one particular example, um, like on top of that building, that's it. They can't go anywhere. Unless they've got jump jets, so whatever's on there is kind of stuck there. Um, and they can't really go anywhere apart from... No, they can't even get to that building. So, like, stuff like this. You know, you you have to be really careful uh, if you end up on... You know, especially if you spawn on things like this. It, you know, if you don't have jump jets, it can be a bit of a pain. Um, so just bear that one in mind. Um, but there's nothing there for the moment. Just start moving up. And Von Cobra... And you can get this, that, that, our little bombard has, uh, <clears throat> has got some, has got some speed on it, fair play. We're actually all, these, this cluster of four at least, anyway, is all pretty much the same speed, which is good. So, still no enemies in range just yet. Move everybody up to here. Let's try and keep everyone together. Yes, Commander. It'd be nice to get older some LRM twenties to go on that bombard. Moving to position. Up into keep them in cover. And here we go, enemy contact, right. So who have we got and where can we see you? Right, you're there. Okay. So I'm gonna reserve and then see what's going on with the enemy movement if they do. Okay, he's working his way down there. Now, if we spot him, we should be able to get some long range on him. But I don't think we can. No, we can't. Okay, so we'll ignore him for now. And we'll just keep sprinting up. And then we'll make sure we uh, try and get in the best position to engage. And then we'll go and give him a pound in. Standing by. Still nothing Ready happening. Confirmed. I kind of want our centurion to take the lead as he is kind of our close range brawler. Good and go. then. Oh, honestly, right now. I think that we are going to... I'm just going to park him here behind this building. Bandit. There's, again, there's no point in pushing around the corner and spotting stuff. Um, and I could sensor lock right now, but there isn't really any point because we can't do anything. So I'm just going to brace him there, just in case something is really fast and gets a shot off on us. Like him, for example. Okay, that hurt. Okay, wow. That was, um, yeah. They reserved as well. Okay. I don't want a bit, we kind of want everybody to be out of move. So he's going to now be spotted. Okay. Um, let's see where to best to approach this from. Um,. I think these guys, most of them should be able to get to that corner. So if we move Didar. Didar. <laughs> Nina, Didar. Only spot one. Hmm, right. See what? 
Reserve one more. I don't want to see if any more get line of we can get line of sight on any more. Okay, there's a tank. That's two we can see. Right, okay. That's that's worth doing. Aye, aye. So let's go here. So if we go here, we're out of line of sight of whatever's up there. Ooh, that's a hatchet man. Ooh, that's scary. Right, I'm going to sensor lock you. We want as much chance. The downside is he is bulwarked, so whatever we do is going to be less damage, but... Good to go. So, let's get somewhere where we can shoot at them both. On my way. line of sight, which is going to be there. If he gets a chance to melee us, we are in big trouble. Got something you want done? Yep. Over here, we're going to try and stay up here a little bit. Because we want to be able to benefit from a line of sight in that. Damn. Negative damage. damn, 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 damn. Damage. Haven't got, haven't, we haven't got time to be missing targets now. Not when there's a hatchet man involved, that's for sure. I'm going to move you there, I think. Oh, we've got some hits, which is good. We need to get a centurion down there. Receiving you. Okay, 66% chance to hit. Go for that. Let's go for the head. Why not? That works. Tango is trash. Only one salvage apart, which is which is upsetting because obviously it would have been nice to have that as a punch bot. Standing by. Now. We melee that tank. That's not going to give us a crazy amount of evasion. The immediate threat is over. I mean, this tank is not that dangerous, so I'm not too worried. I kind of want to be able to see what else the enemy's got here. Now, there's no point just rushing around the corner like this, like round here. There's no point rushing to try and spot any of these because nobody can shoot anything. Uh, the problem is, is that this is the downside with the urban warfare maps. Is it? You, you know, it does limit your range of fire, so you have to do think about things a little bit more because obviously you you know there's no point like rushing and spotting all the enemies like on a more flat map where you know half of your you know a lot of your team can like fire from miles away and have line of sight. This you've got a you have got to think a little bit more about what you're doing. Um and honestly, I'm just gonna let the enemy do their thing for a bit. Fifty ton of that's possibly a treb. Um, or another Centurion, I think it's Centurion's 50. I'm hoping if he fires he's going to do some damage to the tank. Right, okay, so we are going to be able to spot... They've got a few vehicles, which is fine. So right now... Waiting for orders. How far... right, yeah. So we want to... I don't really want to go down there. If I can help it. Um Yes, Commander. Not quite within range to stomp it. What about Bon Cobra? No. Uh oh. Ready for orders. Uh get line of sight on whatever that is. LRMs are kinda of wasted on vehicles, if I'm honest. Um Okay, so here's what we'll do. We'll take our Centurion and we ignore that thing for now. Get a decent line of sight. Okay, we're going to move here. And that is 
a Loader King and a Talos. Okay. Uh, both of them are quite targets. Both are currently guarded. Well, we'll just take the just go for the high hit chance at this point. Commander. Um. Yes, Commander. Just about getting line of sight here. Nine seventy four. What's that? Thirty seven. Not a massive amount of difference. We're going to go for this just because it's the higher hit chance at the moment. Yep. And again. You got it. Like I said that little tank really isn't much of a threat right now, so I'm not particularly worried about shooting it or doing anything with it. Problem is these are all bulwarked, and this is making a make, does make a massive difference on our uh, damage dealing ability. Aye, aye. Targeting for an health. And that is, and he's got an arrow. Receiving you. What I am going to do is I am going to sprint my panther round this way. On my way, double time. I want to get him up there, and I want to stomp. I want to stomp on that tank. So that's the plan, and it's a hunchback. Uh, okay. Uh, not really a lot else we can do for now, so we have to wait. No, we're fine. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Mess him up. Mess him up. Good. Waiting for orders. Right now, oh uh, yeah, I want I want to get range on that. I want to be able to get to punch that to I stomp on that tank. So, and ignore the hunchback for now. He's not really any danger to us because he's behind a load of buildings. So there's not really a lot he can do. <clears throat> and I'm going to sense lock the Talos just because we've just got a higher accuracy of hit. That's pretty much it. We could punch this guy, which would ignore the evasion. It's only 70 damage. What if we could? We could. Oh. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to precision strike him in the back. Is he running an XL engine? in a light engine. Okay, so it doesn't benefit us to take so, Alright, let's just see if we can call him out in one go then. Down he goes. And we're on max evasion. Great. Happy days. Light damage. Holding firm. Ready for order. This is it. You need to plan out every single move. Tactics oh, yeah. is the name of the game, people. We want to make sure we do the maximum amount of damage we can. Um, we can get uh, up on there. Quite unsteady just yet. They're flanking. Okay. Good to go. So what we want to do now is answer. Yeah, the problem is we're having we're struggling. We ah ha ha. We can. I want to jump onto a building because that's just asking for trouble. Jump over here. We are in cover. We do have a better shot. Slowly chipping him away. Yes, 
Commander. Likewise for you. I have to be careful with these ACs because we are going to start suffering with a recall penalty soon. He does still have a height advantage on us, but we are fine. So the plan is now the Centurion is going to start stomping on these vehicles. But I think he lives long enough to do it. Um, and then the Bombard and the two Wolverines and the Panther will deal with the rest of these guys up here. Reporting. Major armor lock. Oh, damn. Okay, so first things first. We are going to stomp on the back of this Demolisher. Sometimes it's not always about like doing damage with every move. If you can take a move that's going to put you in a better position for the next move that you're going to do more damage or you can make more of an influence, sometimes it's just not worth just taking that chance for a little bit of damage when you can get much better on another turn just with a little bit of extra positioning. Wow, he didn't die. Holy crap. Wonder if we can jump over there. Orders. <laughs> oh, we could. We could. Should we risk it? Should we try? Eighty-four percent. That's for a death from above. That's pretty good. I haven't done one of these in ages. Screw it. Let's do it. Roger. <laughs> he flat my ass. Oh, that really hurts. <laughs> that is why I don't usually do deaths from ups. Oh dear. Okay, right. Let's see. We can get up here. Got it. No shooting, just running. Right. If we can put him on his backside, which we can. <laughs> Death from above. At least I say, at least it worked, I suppose. But yeah. what we can do is we'll jump over here. Let's see if we can take that torso off. No. Damn. He's stressed, at least. That's something. Alright. At least we haven't done too much damage to our mech, which is good. Hey, he gets to get up first, though. That sucks. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was the arm. That's the AC5. I could do with that, not having to replace that. Standing by. Okay. Right, he's moved, so let's worry about the engaging. Punch back. I'm hoping that Von Cobra actually has an... Oh, he didn't move. Oh, so, oh we're fine. Commander. Up you get, son. Regain footing. I'm good to go. Got a lot of room to sprint. Uh... Roger. Firing. He is panicked. Commander. Right. Right side. So if we can go from that side. 
Hopefully this will be a kill. Yes. Another tank down. Enemy vehicle destroyed. We're good. Taking heavy hits, Commander. Everything is fine. Ready for orders. Uh, we have back shots on both. Let's take out the Loader King because we can, and we need to switch something off. Stops from overheating. That'll do. Solid connection on that one. How the hell did you go over there? All right. Um, I want to melee him, and I want to melee back. So let's get him gone. Seriously? How is he not dead? Not much armor left in that location. Ow! <laughs> aye, aye. Um, okay, we'll do that as well. Finally. Hostile removed. We're not doing well out of the salvage, that's for sure. Standing by. Moving to position. Locked on for physical attack. Okay. I copy. Might be able to do this with our AC twenty. Side. Yes. There we go. Vehicle trashed. There's two things left. Oh. Uh... So, he punched us from the back, but somehow managed to take our cockpit out. Because reasons. Standing by. But it's fine, this is one of the reasons why I choose to use the main character as, our, as a punch bot, because if he does give it, he cannot be killed. He'll only ever go into the... Um, Mech bay, uh, med bay, so no matter what happens, he will never die. But I'm still curious how a rear attack <laughs> resulted in our head getting taken off, but it's not the first time it's happened, and it still confuses me every time it does. Damage minimal. Waiting for orders. And this is that bug you see again where, like, because we've been floored, we've actually jumped up the initiative tree a bit. Receiving you. Right, what is this down here? Because whatever it is, it's starting to get annoying. The debt. Is that that one that we should have done in the first place? Okie dokie. Uh, done. Not really a lot we can do with that. And honestly, I think we're going to back off a little bit. You're going to do more damage this way, providing it hits, obviously. Standing by. And we'll just bring our... ...up. Hey, two percent. That's not bad. I think our bombard's out of ammo.
think we are in trouble. I mean, the bombard's got plenty of ammo, so I'm not particularly worried. Uh, plenty of armor, so I'm not particularly it's worried about that. There. But yes, commander. Oh, we've got one salvo left. Um. Copy that. So this is basically it. We've got another head hit, that works for me. I'm out of long range missiles. It might be worth swapping them uh, LRM5s out for some like medium lasers or something, just so we've got a bit of sustain after we run out of ammo. Because that's not a lot of ammo. Yes, Commander. Again, we're going to go for a back shot. Watch it shoot it in the leg now. You know what? I'm not. I'm not even taking the chance because that's what exactly what it will do. When you absolutely positively need to make the shot, I guarantee you it will shoot it in the leg. Ready for orders. Go for an attack from the side where the armor's slightly weaker, and this should be a kill. Yes. Let's just hope we can salvage our right. We've had that Wolverine since day one. That's that's really upsetting. Just start getting our lance there, and then some git comes along and one punches our mech's head off. We are not amused. Uh, yeah, so you're injured 120 days. Uh, okay, I guess we'll take the hatchet man part, we'll take the hunchback part, and I guess we... Ooh, I might take that AC-5, actually, and put that on the other Wolverine. Um, what else? Where you find out if they've salvaged your mech or not. Oh, look. Come on. Stop dragging it out. <gasps> oh, thank God. <laughs> We've still got it. Yay! Woot! It didn't actually cost us that much to fix either. Oh, thank the Lord. That's, wa that's way off. So, um, okay, right, firm that, and we'll go for our other Wolverine, and we'll stick the other AC5, because I won't remember to do it next week. I'm not entirely sure why I've got ammo in the arm, I don't really like that very much, I don't know why that's up there either. I'm going to swap that AC5 out, put that AC5 in. And let's quickly do something with this bombard. I mean, we've got. Oh, we had. Oh, you dipstick! We had to. This is this is why I don't like running two different types of ammo because I forget I'm running two different types of ammo, and we we weren't out of ammo at all. We just ran out of LRM ammo, the standard LRM ammo. We still had Artemis to use. Absolutely hate it when I do that. There we are. So we have got plenty of ammo. I'm just an idiot and didn't realise that we had two types. But anyway, um, I hope you did enjoy the video, guys. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Don't forget to subscribe. Everything helps me grow the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. And obviously, if you guys want some more, don't forget to come and see me on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Monday is Battletech Day, and sometimes on Saturday. And Friday is usually MacWarrior Online, so you got more big stompy robots on there. Drop me a follow. All the schedule is on there. And that is it. And don't forget to come and see me in Discord and hang out and have a chat and post your builds and stuff uh there's a channel dedicated to uh battletech in my discord as well so hope you have a good one guys that's me done though i'm out bye bye